Hello there. This is Derek to be extreme. And I'm just going to say what I feel like with this Abraham Washington stuff that's going on. Now I watched some videos and I've heard voices of what the other people have to say about this and honestly I completely agree. And like I have on this video, I call bullshit. It is. It's perfectly bullshit. Now, WWE, all I gotta say really is that they need to grow some balls. They had them, but apparently it's, they flatten them or something. I mean, I really can't say, they mean, they've pretty much lost any balls that they ever had. I mean, let's think about it real quick. Isn't it really funny, like, how all this is really being done just because of Lennett's Senate race, Senate race, or whatever. And well, here's the funny thing about it her being in the Senate race is costing people jobs and costs and everything. So, I mean, I'm really saying that that's not really going to help her out a lot. I mean, let's look at it. I mean, Abraham Washington was fired over a joke, over literally a joke, a Kobe Bryant joke, and honestly, would Kobe Bryant even care if he, if Kobe Bryant for any reason watched Raw, and he's seen, and he's seen um, Abraham Washington saying that joke, do you really think he cares? He makes like a hundred million dollars or more possibly. And you think that what people say about him right now would even affect him? I mean, I mean, really? And the fact that um, a, a Kobe Bryant joke was mentioned before and WWE with the big show and John Cena thing, the rap battle, it was mentioned. But yet, Big Show wasn't fired for it. I mean, really? And look at, let's just go back and see all the offensive stuff that Diddy has produced. The Billy and Chuck Palumbo wedding. That's offensive to Christian people. Vince McMahon challenged God. I'm sure that was offensive to Christian people too. Let's also think about this. Let's really and let's think about how. Hell, let's just say Stone Cold Steve Austin in general. Just bottom line, Stone Cold Steve Austin, an alcoholic redneck who beat his wife, and they give him title runs and everything. You don't think that's at least a little bit offensive to women? Now I love. Stone Cold Steve Austin, but even I can see why people would be offended in that. And that, and even during the Altitude Air, Attitude Era, there were still some PG moments in it. I'm sure there were some kids who watched it. And a lot of the people who watch it now grew up with it during the Attitude Era. And really, I've seen some of the people, I know some of the people that watched it in the Attitude Era. Personally, I would, the moment I can remember the most out of the Attitude Era would, would be when The Rock, wait, no wait, when Stone Cold ran his truck, his big monster truck over The Rock's limousine. I can remember, that's like one of the first images I remember of the WWE. That's where I remember making me click to the WWE. Now, honestly, a, a lot of things that did think about it, Lord Tenzai's character could be offensive to Japanese people. I mean, and not just that, and let's look at the Kali, and let's think about the great Kali. Now, it's been said that, and we all know that Kali knows little English. He knows a little bit. He knows enough to get him by. But the thing is, is that 
since he is from India, he has a, you know, he has a different kind of voice, but the WWE never forgets to make fun of that. So really, they could be offending foreign people, not just people from India, but they could be offending Mexicans, basically anyone who comes from a foreign country, just by making fun of Kali's voice, even though he can't help having that voice. I mean, even if Kali took three years off of WWE so he could learn English every possible way he could, and learn it completely and master the language, he still wouldn't be, he'd still have that accent. And, you know, it really pisses me off too about it too. I mean, why all of a sudden, I mean, with Vince McMahon, all of them should know how hypocritical they're being right now. I mean, really, I mean, if they cannot see the bullshit that they're doing, they're really, they're blind. They're really goddamn blind. And, <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, just, it just gets you frustrated because this stuff is just horrible, what they do. How even the top face of their company, John Cena, has done stuff that's offensive. For instance, he went around under the doctor of thugonomics, basically portraying a wigger. I mean, a rap, just based, I mean, that could get people who are like that, or hell, he could get the black community offended by that. I mean, and, and we, who can forget Kerwin White, Chavo Guerrero, where he said, if it ain't white, it ain't right. And now, I understand that Child Girl wasn't talking about white people. He was talking about his name. And what he was going by. But still, I do hear that he did get a lot of press about that. JBL doing the Nazi walk. That got offended. He got a wrist slap for that. But now, all of a sudden, Chris... And Chris Jericho, he stopped and basically desecrated a, a Brazilian flag and he had to apologize by it. Why? Chris Jericho's job is to be a heel. He's supposed to piss people off. That's the whole point. Why don't they just do this? Why don't they just make everybody in the WWE a face? The Miz, Alberto Del Rio, I mean, everyone, why don't they just make WWE a purely face company? Where they have no heel superstars. Could, because making them a heel star risk that they can say something negative. And also, I remember how John Cena and all of them make fun of Vicky Guerrero and Big Show for being fat. Well, the fact of the matter is, Big Show has been losing weight, and that even if he lost a lot more weight, he'd still be big. I mean, that's just a given. And Vicky Guerrero has put a lot of time into losing weight, and she actually looks hell of a lot better than she did when she first came on. She looks thin. She lost weight. She's been exercising. She's done everything, and they're still making fun of her weight, which I could say is a very offensive to fat people. Or hell, even now, in fact, it could be offensive to. I mean, it could be offensive to anyone. I mean, WWE is was made. I mean, really, almost made off offensive garbage, offensive stuff. I mean, really, everything. Mike Tyson, I love the guy, but he was a convicted rapist when he came in to WWE. And I'm sure he got a lot of press for that. And now, he's in the Hall of Fame. They have a convicted rapist in the Hall of Fame. And another thing. Let's also think about Dula the Butcher. Never worked in WWE. 
But since he did so much in his career, he had to be put in the... They put him in the Hall of Fame. And, you know, in a way, I don't mind that. Because I can't say that Abdul the Butcher is not a legend, because he is. But let's just come about the new rumors that about him, that he's been spreading hepatitis to pe- to to wrestlers. He's getting sued for it, too. I mean, do you think the wrestlers that got hepatitis from him aren't offended in any way that the WWE has allowed him to be put in the Hall of Fame? And I heard Cowboy Bob Orton has hepatitis too. And they put him in a bloody situation with The Undertaker. Undertaker could have gotten hepatitis. And the thing is, for you who don't know who hepatitis, what hepatitis is, let's just put it this way. If you get hepatitis, it kills your wrestling career. Because, I mean, not just will companies not allow you to wrestle, you won't want to wrestle because you don't want to risk putting other people's health at risk. And I mean, really, WWE is founded on on a bunch of, you know, a bunch of offensive moments. I mean, that's what we love. We love some offensive. I mean, I could understand some of it being there, but I mean, God, I just, I'm really pissed off at this because, I mean, AEW, I was kind of mad on him and FCW. I mean, they even, um, he kind of was like The Rock, and he had a stupid net breaker as a finisher. I mean, it wasn't one of those cool swinging net breakers. I mean, it was just like a Rick Rude net breaker that looked probably even worse than that. And he did The Rock's generic uh, people's elbow in a different way, and it was called In Your Face. So basically, as a wrestler, Abraham Lincoln was just The Rock. But but here's one thing that Abraham Lincoln and The Rock do also have in common, too. They both are freaking epic on the mic. Abraham Washington is a great... He is greatly skilled on the mic. And he can put... I really can believe that Abraham Lincoln could could manage any wrestler in the WWE and make, and make them more relevant. Hell, I believe that if he was Michael Cole's manager, he can make Michael Cole um, li- uh, more liked. I mean, really, anybody, he could, hell, I could see him being Heath Slater's manager, and maybe he could get Heath Slater over. There are so many things that Abraham Washington could do. And the fact that he got fired, his dream got shot down. His dream destroyed no more. If he would, you could tell he's sad by it. He's disappointed. But I mean, it just pisses me off that this has to happen. Why WWE? Why? What happened to the edgier days? I mean, I understand it's PG, and I'm fine with that. I mean, you can put still put on a great show and then have a PG rating. And many people might disagree with me with that. It can still be possible. I've seen many great Raws that have been PG. So, I mean, it's not like it's impossible. It can be done. All I really hope is that Linda McMahon loses her Senate race. Because if she wins and she gets reelected, especially if she gets reelected if she wins... I think, quite frankly, it's going to be the death of the WWE. I mean, it'd be just horrible. It'd be the ultimate nightmare. Sometimes I wonder what would have happened if WCW would have just bought out Vince McMahon and bought out the WWE. Hey, at least I know with Eric Bischoff and Hulk Hogan or someone running here, at least I know for sure there would be no, that neither one of them would be running for political offices. Well, 
I'm just gonna go and leave it at that because I don't have any more words for this. Bye.